Hello learners and welcome back. Uh, in our today's lesson, we'll be learning how to prepare a simple a trial balance. Now, a trial balance is usually prepared after preparing the ledger. So what you have here are the ledger of balances. So the question reads, and the following uh, balances were extracted from the books of Anyatike traders limited as at 31st January 2010. So we have a discount allowed, which is 5,000, a buildings, 250,000, return outwards, 6,000, purchases, 74,000, creditors, 20,000, drawings, 16,000, capital, 319,000, and you are required to prepare your ticket traders limited trial balance as at uh, that uh, date so learners uh, before we move on to preparing a trial balance uh, it's good we analyze whatever uh, documents that you're given sorry whatever information you are given so to start with we have other uh, discounts allowed and uh, learners discounts allowed usually have a debit uh, balance therefore on the trial balance you're also going to debit buildings is also uh, an asset so debit balances uh, return outwards have a credit uh, balances remember return outwards reduces purchases and that's why we they usually have a credit uh, uh, balance then we have our purchases purchases also these ones have a debit balance it's an asset then we have a creditors creditors a liability a credit balance drawings these ones have a debit balances and capital credit balances so learners sometimes uh, you may be Turn between thoughts where to put which one goes where you only remember uh, what you learned under uh, the bookkeeping equation and when you are preparing a, a balance sheet learners we have all the assets drawings these ones you should have debit balances they usually debited when preparing ledgers so they have debit balances then we have capital liabilities we have income or revenues yes and these ones usually have credit balances here we have asset uh, instead of saying a drawings let's have expenses or expenses expenses so all the assets and the expenses have debit balances capital liabilities and revenue have credit balances this information you get it from or when you're preparing or when you're learning how to prepare ledger accounts or to open ledger accounts rather so this is the same uh, knowledge that you use here when you're given this type of a question so that's why i said an easy form of a, a trial uh, balance so when preparing a trial balance first and foremost we need to start with the heading and the heading we start with the name of the business in this case which is nyatike Nyatike traders so the account we are preparing is a trial balance a trial uh, balance as at which date as at that date which date the date when the balances were extracted which is 31st uh, January so as at 31st January which year 2010 so that is it then we have the heading 
the other one we are going to have another column here whereby we are going to have the column for the details and this is where we will be recording the accounts and then we have another column here where we will be uh, giving a or will be recording the debit in terms of uh, it's the money denomination we are using then we have the credit balances will be recorded there yeah that is it so we start with our first item so we don't take any it's no other formula just the way they are recorded you can record that others will recommend you start with the capital uh, as long as the trial balance balances you can just record in the same order that you're given to ensure you don't skip any so we have the first item you're given there is a discount allowed discount allowed and we say discount allowed have debit balances so we write on the debit column five thousand the next one is buildings buildings which is two hundred and fifty thousand again uh, debit balance so we debit on the trial balance we have return outwards return out towards returns out of the business so this one uh, reduces our purchases so we have a credit balance which is six thousand yeah we credit and i say credit balance i mean that we credit debit balance we debit the balance is given the other one is uh purchases yeah the other one is purchases and purchases have a debit balance therefore we debit seven sorry 74,000 we debit 74,000 and after purchases we have uh, creditors creditors this is a liability so a credit balance 20,000 uh, then the next one is drawings drawings is an expense drawings is an expense therefore debit balance of a 16000 debit balance of 16000 and then finally we have capital capital whereby capital is 319 and we say that capital has a credit uh, balance 319 so the next thing is to get the totals on both sides we get the totals on the credit side and the totals on the debit side and remember to double underscore showing that you're through with that account so you have five thousand plus plus two fifty thousand. that is 255 and then you add 74 and 100 and sorry and 16,000 uh, this is 28 90,000 plus 255 90,000 plus 255 that should give us around 345,000 345,000 then the next one is on the credit side which is uh, we have 26,000 plus uh, 319,000 again the same gives us around uh, 345,000 uh, so therefore learners our account has balanced and that is generally what you're supposed to have done in that uh, particular uh, question I told you learners initially that uh, when you get this type of a question you only just need to remember this that all assets and expenses have a debit balance and all liabilities uh, capital and revenue income 
they have credit balances. So with that, preparing a trial balance will be easy for you uh, learners. That is it for today. Bye. See you in our next lesson. And if you are watching this and you have not subscribed, please add this one. Thank you. Bye-bye.